Good morning, guys. So in today's class, we will discuss some more problems. So compute the average value of square waveform shown in the below. So we have to calculate the average value for this waveform. So as you know, the average value is calculated for full cycle. Full cycle means 0 to 0 0.3. So here the cycle will be 0 to 0 0.3. 0 to 0 0.3 is a one cycle. One cycle. So we will consider the average value here for one cycle. So V of T value will be from 0 to 0 to 0 0.1 so if you observe 0 to 0 0.1 the value of v of t value will be 20 volts so 0 to 0 0.1 the value will be 20 volts and 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 value will be 0 so i can write from 0 to t less than 0 0.1 v of t value will be 20 volts v of t value will be 20 volts and v of t at the 0 to 0 0.1 to t less than 0 0.3 the v of t value will be 0 volts 0 volts so these are the two cases so we can calculate the v average value equal to 1 by the time period time period is up to 0 0.3 no so 0 0.3 0 to 0 0.1 0 to 0 0.1 20 dt and another value is from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 0 dt 0 dt so this will be, value will be cancelled so the v average value will be equal to 1 by 0 0.3 0 to 0 0.1 20 dt so 20 is a constant we will uh, remove outside so the V average value equal to 1 by 0 0.3, 1 by 0 0.3, this 20, I have taken outside. So 0 to 0 0.1 dt, dt. So integral of dt value will be t, no? So I can write 20 by 0 0.3, 20 by 0 0.3 t. This value will be t. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is 0 0.1 so i can substitute both the limits upper limit and lower limit here 20 by 0 0.3 the v average value equal to v average value equal to 20 by 0 0.3 into 0 0.1 minus 0 0 0.1 minus 0 value will be 0 0.1 only so the v average value equal to 20 by 0 0.3 into 0 0.1 0 0.1 so here point point will be get cancelled so the value of v average value equal to v average is equal to 20 by 3 20 by 3 volts so voltage will be represented in volts now so the v average value will be equal to 20 by 3 volts so we have calculated the average value as he have asked in the question compute the average value of square waveform here we have calculated the average value for this square waveform square waveform for this square waveform the average value will be 20 by 3 next we will move on to next problem a coil takes a current of 1 amperes at 0 0.6 lagging power factor from a 220 volts 60 hertz single phase source if the coil is modeled by a series rl circuit find complex power and the values of resistance and inductance so he has asked to calculate the complex power as well as values of resistance and inductance first we will draw the rl circuit r as well as l circuit here rl circuit for this rl circuit he has given a voltage voltage the voltage value will be 220 volts 220 volts and the current he has given the current value is 1 ampere 1 ampere and r value and xl value we have we have to find out as well as complex power also 
so he has also given a power factor as 0.6 lagging power factor so lagging power factor as you know lagging power factor always will represent like this voltage lags the current by an angle pi by an angle pi so to calculate this angle pi as you know cos pi equal to cos pi power factor is equal to 0.6 power factor equal to 0.6 so i can write pi equal to cos inverse of 0.6 pi equal to cos inverse of 0.6 this value cos inverse of 0.6 value will be 53.13 53.13 degrees this is the pi value so i can write here pi value equal to 53.13 degrees now so he has asked to calculate the complex power now see in the question he has asked first complex power in the coil as you know complex power means apparent power complex power means apparent power apparent power formula is s equal to p plus q complex power formula is s equal to p plus q so first we have determine the real power real power p equal to vi cos pi vi cos pi voltage he has given the voltage as 220 volts current as 1 ampere and power factor power factor cos pi he has given 0.6 no so i can substitute here the value will be 132 watts the real power always given in the units of watts so the real power will be 132 watts next reactive power reactive power q equal to vi sin pi vi sin pi so the value will be 220 into 1 into this pi sin pi value will be sin of pi value we have calculated no pi value we have calculated 53.13 so i can substitute here sin of 53.13 degrees sign of 53.13 degrees it will be 176 var var so always reactive power will be given in the units are var so s equal to now i can write s equal to p plus j q p plus j q p value is 132 and q value will be 176 so this is the complex power complex power always indicated with v 132 plus j 176 va now we have to calculate the values of resistance as well as inductance so for calculation of resistance and inductance as you know impedance formula impedance equal to z equal to v by i v value we has given in the question as 220 at an angle of 0 and the current value 1 at an angle of minus 53.13 minus 53.13 here i have taken here negative sign because the current lagging the voltage current lagging the voltage so whenever it is in the form of r1 pi 1 r2 pi 2 here we have known the formula no r1 pi 1 r1 pi 1 to the top r2 pi 2 r2 pi 2 so we can write as r1 by r2 pi 1 minus pi 2 pi 1 minus pi 2 so for this it is in the form of r1 pi 1 r2 and pi 2 so r1 by r2 it will be 220 by 1 value will be 220 and 0 minus of minus 53.13 it will be 53.13 53.13 so this is the z value so it is in the form of polar form no? r value is 220 and pi value is 53.13 this is in the form of polar polar coordinates it is in the form of polar coordinates so we can convert into rectangular coordinates no? so if you convert into rectangular coordinates x equal to r cos pi y equal to r sin pi r y sin pi so the z value will be 132 plus j 176 this will be the 
z value so we have to calculate the resistance as well as inductance now from this you can calculate it z value equal to z value equal to you can write here z equal to r plus j xl r plus j xl so if you observe in this equation r value is 132 no r value is 132 and xl value is 176 xl value is 176 so i can write here r value is 132 ohms and xl value is 176 so from this i can calculate the inductance no l equal to xl by 2 pi f xl by 2 pi f so in the question frequency is given as once we observe the frequency has given as 60 hertz so i can substitute here frequency and xl value xl value is 176 by 2 pi into 60 so the l value will be 0 0.4778 henry this is the l value and r xl value as well as complex power so the complex power we have calculated as 132 plus j176 is the complex power and the r value is 132 ohms and l value will be 0 0.4778 henry this is the question so we have calculated both the values thank you students we will meet in next class thank you Thank you.